it's Goliathus time again. I will check uh, some of the boxes where I expect uh, adults to emerge from the pupil cell and already prepared something here are the boxes with the uh, pupas inside. Uh, it's only boxes that are already checked whether there are pupas inside or not and I have here prepared some cages where I can uh, put the adult beetles in. Now you probably remember from last time that uh, I put some of the pupas that we find in in these little uh, peep boxes and now if we have a look at this at this box now the peep box is still in here and um, now look the beetle came out of the pupil cell and now we have a <coughs> we have a nice female here now so that we we don't mess everything up I have to prepare the numbers of the beetle so that we know which is which one ah come on I have to I put her here so she now she wants to stick to my hand <laughs> I have to offer her some melon I think so that she will go on to this melon and eat here a little bit so come on come up lady so yeah, they, they are very sharp the claws of this animal are incredibly sharp and um, now look at you uh, well <laughs> she want to come to me she don't want to go off okay but you see she's already very active now she has the antennas fully out and she wants to come into the world and and uh, find a good partner to found the new generation this is the second generation already now that's completely <laughs> completely grown wild uh, completely grown in the in the cage now here you see sometimes they they um, emit uh, a liquid just to uh, put the the animals uh, the, the enemies away so now this is g1 number eight i put it here on the so probably if she will i hope that she will stay here and wait now next is another box this is one, number one from from the strain number one it was the female number eight this one was in here it was a pupa 9th of december it's exactly five months later if we have here's the peat pots that we had so let's have a look what happens here are the peat pots where we put in the pupa now we open it a beautiful male you see that it's conchpersus with some white spots on the elytras very nice one number g1 number 11 it's also from the strain number uh, one so i offer this animal also some melon so that you can eat here and so number one eleven so next one uh we take this one this was 37 grams 13th of december also exactly 12 months late uh, five months later we have a look what happened now we already see a leg coming out of the pupil chamber here if we open that look wow look at this nice beet male the tip is typical very nice blue red elytras they have no not one dot on it now in this animal and what number is it it's 153 where is it number 153 here that's here okay so i also put some melon here to put it on welcome to this world number one five so next one here yes we we, we make two more and then we have five and the next uh, two you can watch in the german playlist so come on look here another one number two seventy two also this animal it's very nice it's a small one 
a male, a small male, also, but also a very nice one. Number 272, this one. Yeah, we put it on here. So, well, and one more. So we have this one. This was 17th December also. After five months, if you care, if you have a good look, this is pretty big purple chamber. Let's have a look what is inside. The leg comes out with a lot of hair on it. So, well, also this one, so nice. The colors, when they just come out, they are so nice and shiny. A beautiful male. Conspersus. It, what number was it? It was... I think, which was it? 53 we already had. Nice. No, it was 153, huh? number one. No, this we already had number 153. Don't, don't we? No. So where is it? 50. Ah, oh, this was this one. Oh no, I have already. It was this one? No, 17th, I said this one. 51. G151. Okay, this one is it. Okay. So, let's have a look. We put it on a piece of melon also here. This is a pretty big one. Huh? This is a pretty big male. So come, help yourself. Look at these nice Goliath beetles here. Um, it says also that it's not very difficult to breed them. Of course, we also have losses here. Um, I lost around half of the of the animals that were larvae didn't make it t till the end. But if you have enough discipline to care for them, so you can start your own breeding project with Scoliotus. Go to the German playlist to see the other five that come out in the next boxes. Thanks for watching.